Welcome to this week's Sexy Saturday. I was having a discussion with how do you, because people can't talk about sex, heaven forbid, how do you get your partner to try something a little kinkier? So I'm going to give you a couple of ideas, two specific ones. The first and foremost is research and find a movie with some kinky sex, some things that you would like to be able to then discuss or possibly try. And no, I don't recommend Fifty Shades of Grey, even though I could have written the script. There's, some, there's a lot of accuracy in it, but there's also a lot of other issues. And it just, uh, it's too much is what I'm saying, okay? But find something, it's been forever, and I can't even remember much of it, but nine and a half weeks was pretty erotic. Uh, but the gateway to kinkier sex is blindfolds. You're welcome. So here's the deal. You don't try to go for bondage right away. You obviously have to have trust. But blindfolds, it heightens the other senses. You could then get maybe a feather, other things for play. But the reality is it allows a person to kind of give up a little bit of control, but not so much that they get freaky about it. And I personally have never had a woman say no to being blindfolded. They will say no if you ask too soon to be <laughs> handcuffed or tied up. If you ask too soon. <laughs> I couldn't resist. But that I've heard people say, well, she said no. How long have you been dating? You have to establish a lot of trust before you start tying people up. Yeah, this whole thing is a process. It's not something you do, you know. It's a process and it you go by degrees. You know. You don't start off with a sensory deprivation hood, a bondage bench, and completely tie them up and then bring out certain toys, okay? It's not how you do it, a little at a time. And you try things out and you talk about it and you, you check in with each other and you respect their boundaries and you establish a safe word ahead of time. If they, you know, it could be red light, green light, or it could be hippopotamus, you know. The reality is you want them to feel they can stop it at any time so they are comfortable. If they're not comfortable and they're all tense, the sex will be no fun. Think about that. So erotic movies, not porn, erotic movies, and then the blindfold. And then the first time, if they want to try bondage and have this discussion, maybe use some ties that you no longer wear because you've escaped the trap of jobs where, that require them. I have all these beautiful ties. I have some that I may someday wear again, but I'm not willing to use them. And then I have ones that are like very basic over the years that have become bondage ties before I have restraint systems and cuffs. So something to think about. Have a sexy Saturday. <laughs>